At the SES van der Haver Innovation Center, we conduct research for the sugar beet varieties of the future, for every country in which sugar beets can possibly grow. Usually, the development of a new sugar beet variety takes up to 10 years. However, at the Innovation Center, we develop varieties faster than ever before in plant breeding history. Different climates, soil types and a wide array of pests and diseases are being analyzed with the utmost precision. This way, we can customize our varieties into each agricultural situation thinkable. That's how we ensure farmer and industry have the best possible sugar beet seed in their hands. The Innovation Center is a textbook example of cutting-edge technology under glass. Fully climate control conditions allow ideal sugar beet seed production and growing conditions, making provision for the breeding process to move forward faster and more efficiently. Also, being 100% eco-friendly, the complex is one of the most innovative glass houses ever built in the sugar industry. To develop the right characteristics for a specific sugar beet variety, we start with a very meticulous procedure, which is called hand crossings. In our seed production laboratories, we select different father and mother plants which contain successful genes in order to create a new variety. We use the pollen of the father plant to pollinate the mother plant, therefore literally giving nature a hand to produce new combinations of successful genes. Young plants can be grown all year round in our climate-controlled greenhouses and after a period of induced cold in the growth rooms, they start to flower. On these flowering stems, we conduct thousands of hand crossings each year, therefore raising the odds in finding the characteristics we need. If we find these characteristics, we isolate them by inbreeding the plants. After a few generations of inbreeding, we find the desired breeding lines which our breeders use as a base to create the commercial sugar beet varieties. At Sess van der Haave, classical breeding methods are always supported by innovative biotechnology techniques. Thanks to DNA marker analysis in our laboratories, we can create an immense database of sugar beet plant DNA, fathers and mothers, showing their particular characteristics. This will help us both steer and speed up the hand crossing and selection process. Therefore, we take leaf samples from the plants in the greenhouses and analyze them in the genotyping laboratories. The leaf samples which have been taken from the plants with potential new combinations of successful genes are then processed in the genotyping laboratories. Here our scientists map out the DNA of the different sugar beet plants. Genotyping enables the selection of the exact characteristics needed by a particular variety for specific circumstances in a distinct region by finding small differences in the sequence of a DNA string. The leaf samples go through different stages in order to define the DNA sequence of the sugar beet plant. Due to this research, Sess van der Harvard is able to define which genetic markers are linked to which characteristics. That's how we know, for example, whether some resistance is present in a plant, or which plants are, by nature, performing better in different climatological conditions. Once again, with this valuable information in hand, the breeding team is able to continue its research with the best plants available. However, we don't stop here. We also have another way of defining whether a sugar beet plant is able to handle different stress factors. This research happens in the BSM or Biotic Stress Management Laboratories and Greenhouses. The sugar beet crop is threatened by several pests and diseases. These diseases are caused by either viruses, bacteria, fungi, worms or insects. These organisms, or pathogens as we call them, manifest themselves in the root or on the leaves of the sugar beet plant. By examining them in detail, the BSM team can steer the selection process and develop resistance to the different diseases. For each of the diseases, a pure inoculum is prepared in the laboratory. 
Then, this pathogen is put onto the plants in the greenhouses under climate control conditions, simulating the natural environment for a specific pathogen. After a few weeks, the team is able to separate the sick from the healthy plants. Only the healthy or resistant plants, as we call them, are kept for further breeding work. Also, our diagnosis lab, the Ses van der Haave Diagnostic Center, is fully deployed to examine existing sugar beet diseases. Customers from all over the world can send us their infected sugar beet plants, which are then thoroughly examined. A custom-made diagnosis is sent back and our teams then propose an appropriate solution. Due to the state-of-the-art automation of different processes, the research work can be sped up by 30%, allowing the BSM team to proactively conduct research into future threats to the sugar beet. By now, you're certainly aware of the fact that plant breeding is a numbers game. After extended research on thousands of plants, we continued with only a few selected seeds from father and mother plants, then multiplied the best offspring on a larger scale in order to have a lot of potential options to choose from. By constantly and innovatively eliminating the plants that don't meet our high standards, we're able to select nothing but the best possible sugar beets to release on the market. That is what we do, day in, day out. This is sugar beet research at its best. This is the Ses van der Haave Innovation Center.